Hello, Brian from Military Mobility. Today we're on Poison Spider with our 2008 LR3. We're gonna check it out, see what it can do. So we were just on this trail yesterday with our LJ. I have to say, you know, we've already completed the switchback portion. A lot smoother ride in the LR3. We are on the stock air suspension. It's a pretty cushy ride. This is set up. We have the gap ID tool for some programming and we have the Johnson rods. They're 3.0. Johnson Rods was nice enough to donate that to us. Thank you very much. And we're on 32 inch Goodyear door tracks. All right, let's hit the trail. Previously, we took this LR3 out on fins and things, which is rated as a four on the Moab scale. Poison Spider Mesa is rated as a six. So we're gonna see a considerable increase in the difficulty of the obstacles. And it's recommended that you have a minimum of 35 inch tires and front and rear lockers. We don't have any of that and we're on 32s. But what we do have is the LR3's secret weapon. It's center locking diff. All right, so I'm gonna do a little spot right here. All right. So, too much, too much. All right, right wheel. I'm gonna pop the right wheel right here, right? Which is what it's gonna do. Oh man. Uh, give me a second, bro. And uh, we'll, have, we'll put our left wheel right here. Ah. Um, Hidden now. Yep. So, I might do a little etiquette for ourselves. Put that right there. And uh, see how that works out. That's going to be quite fun. And so, a little bit about our approach angle on that. Uh, we can see how she does. joking the reason they call it LR3 is because you can always only have three wheels on the ground. Uh, you know it, it, it's funny the articulation on this is, is kind of crap uh, but the traction control just brings you through it regardless and the clearance has worked well so we have this right now in four low and we put it on rocks the rock setting it's called rock crawl and when you do that, it raises it up to your, your higher height to give you a little bit more clearance. And uh, here's a pretty cool obstacle coming up here. Right here, this is the uh, downhill control. Sometimes it, it's okay to have on. The majority of the time, I, I just want to control it myself. That's the brake over. You think it's gonna work? Yeah. Wouldn't cut it too tight. It ends up making this kind of grinding noise on the brakes when the computer applies it. Just this kind of weird feeling. Uh, it does a fine job of controlling it, but I just rather do it myself most times. So I end up turning it off. But if you're on certain grades, it's not that big a deal. Actually, it's okay to have on. You want to tell us why we're on this trail? So uh, we're checking out Poison Spider today because we're going to have a, a military mobility course upcoming in April. And we hadn't done this particular trail for our, our course attendees, the veterans, and we're looking at doing it in our current stable. We have a, uh, a Jeep TJ, very capable, Savvy Curry build. We have our Jeep LJ, another, another Savvy Curry build. Uh, and we have a Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ, four inch Clayton long arm, capable JK uh, Rubicon axles and all that. Two others that we have are our two LR3s, both 2008. One of them is the coil spring conversion. The other is the air suspension that we're driving right now. We've never taken the LR3 on Poison Spider, so we want to see how it does before we 
put some veterans behind the wheel on here. So we're out scouting the terrain today just to see how it does, see how it articulates, see if it's functional and how we do. So thanks for coming along for the ride and uh, hopefully it works out so we get some veterans behind the wheel of these trucks in April. I mean, we're gonna have to check this option out, right? Like, it was a bypass, but the veterans are gonna wanna do this one, so we've gotta do it. Let's see <laughs> what she has. And the LJ did it yesterday? LJ right? did it yesterday, just fine. I mean, of course. Well, let's see what she's got. Thoroughly impressed. <laughs> Loving this thing. Right now we're set up and we're in the uh, low range and I uh, have it set up on rock crawl, which extends the height. Uh, when we're extended on all the clearance, it essentially takes away any of our up travel, makes the, the ride a little bit harsher. I'm just not taking the time to, which I really should, just kind of air up and air down, uh, just the press of a button. But we're gonna do this on the way out and on the way back, we're gonna make the adjustments and see if we make it have a notice to the ride quality. Oh, here we are. This is the waterfall. This begins the track of some uh, semi-difficult obstacles that we're interested in checking out. So the biggest section we're really concerned about is the, you know, the waterfall section. There's a, a good run of just obstacle after obstacle. They're all pretty challenging. Uh, and with the time that we have right now before the sun set, and that's what we're, we're really looking to knock out, just to uh, out and back. We're not going to do the complete loop today. We just don't have the time, the amount of sunlight we have. But I'm very confident that they can make it through this section that's been the, the most difficult of the trails that we're going to do when we're up here. Hey, Aaron. Yo. How is my approach angle for hitting the bumper? I think you're good. All right, so hey, what, could you tell what we were scraping? The hitch. Okay. No, All right, you I, didn't I, ask me about that, so. No, no, I, I was <laughs> curious about the um, the undercarriage as well, because, you know, the, under, the exhaust kind of hangs out there and all that, but. No, yeah. You know, and we're expecting, we put that, we, uh, you know, we have a stock bumper. We're not going to pay all the money on this one for the uh, the heavy, heavy steel bumper. Um, so we, we kind of put this, you know, that uh, e-trailer hitch on there to maintain our 7,700 pounds hitch rating, uh, tow rating, and um, has a little bit of protection, so it worked out. You know, one of the cool things about using vehicles in our curriculum, a vehicle really is a known quantity. Nearly everybody gets behind the wheel of a vehicle almost every single day. What you think is possible in a vehicle, it's already there. So. When you come out here, where it looks like you're on a, the moonscape, and somebody's like, hey, go over that obstacle. And they're like, first reaction, you see how people are like, I can't do that. But with a little bit of training, you, you can. And then it begs this response, well, what else can I do? Human beings are creatures of habit. You, you drive the same roads home, you park in the same driveway, and you walk up the same stairs, and you think the same thoughts. That's why we have a, a multi-day course. It really allows a decent amount of time to integrate a new routine and good habits for positive health and wellness that'll last a lifetime. Over the days, we're working on trust, team building, operations management, leadership, and strategy. And when you come up to an obstacle, um, there's this response will get white knuckled. You know, you don't want to mess the truck up or you know, roll it, damage it a bit, or, or hurt yourself, you know? It's there, some of these highball obstacles we're going over, sitting on the side of a cliff or something. You know, we, you get through it. When you get off the obstacle, there's this moment of elation, kind of let your hair down, and it's like, whoo! You know, wipe the sweat off the brow. But then there's another obstacle ahead, and another obstacle, and we're, we're doing a workout with them. We're gonna hop out, take a look, and see how we want to set this up. Much more stopping and assessing along the route, as difficult as that one is, but it kept on flowing, so I wasn't asking too many questions. All right, so um, when we did this yesterday, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to angle this around. We wanna put my right tire right here. I can't make that turn. I'm gonna back up a bit. Right tire there, left tire there. And uh, I think that'll be good. I mean, no rubbing so far. No breakover angles. No issues. Right tire work. Yeah, man. So That's what you know resilience is. It's not resting or taking it easy. Stress is a good thing, a certain amount of stress, right? So we want to create stress to kick it back into gear for a lot of the veterans where, you know, let's face it, our fight or flight response system is kind of pegged out. You know, a lot of times things have gone bump in the night was for a reason and uh, the meter might be maxed out a little bit. In a way, you're just doing some uh, rehab and doing a workout on it and, and kind of fine tuning and calibrating it and getting it back into gear. How are we looking on the bumpers? You're good on the bumper. All right. You're gonna have to climb. Oh yeah. Angle's looking okay? Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Oh, what's right, that? What's that hitting? Uh, it's hitting something. I'd, I'd back up, maybe. So, if you, you can get the angle here. So, I, you know, I, I didn't approach this ideal, but you can see we're touching the tank just that tiny, tiny bit. I'm thinking as we progress forward, it's just going to lift me right off. I'm going to go ahead and stay with the line we have and get the weight on the tank. And it, it just kissed it. It wasn't that big a deal. It's just like a real steep angle for this. Is there a better angle you think we can get? If you were over my direction, maybe like a foot. All right. That should be good if you straighten out. Straighten out? Yeah. You slipped right back into that hole. Okay. You got like three feet. What's that? This got donated to us and it's been working out pretty good. Yeah. All right, yep. Well, so. When you guys see the slip in, the Land Rover has to slip for the lockers to kick in. It's the way the system works. Yeah, I can probably hear it out a bit. <laughs> We're seeing what we get away with today. Oh, it's so close. Yeah. Cheers to the peanut gallery there. All right, mission accomplished. We reached it to the top of the waterfall with the LR3. Did an amazing job. We're happy to come back here in April, have the veterans tackle, poison spider, have a tasty kill cliff as a celebration. Cheers. Victory. Guy 
Aaron is awesome, military mobility team member since the beginning of 2017. He's uh, one of our main photographers and videographers, editors. I mean, he does it all, setting up tents, whatever is needed. He is a team member through and through.